Hello everyone, welcome to Desert Succulent and today we will be featuring Sidon Burrito. It is a succulent that has a trailing stem and along its trailing stem you would notice that it is packed with these fleshy na leaves and yung color nya is parang gray green to blue green in color and it is usually covered with this powdery na substance like for example here I'll try to remove it yeah, so you would really see na hindi naman ganun kakapal yung kanyang coating. Tinatawag din ito na baby burr's tail or the baby donkey's tail because yung word na burrito, it means young donkey. If we're gonna look at this pag humaba na siya, it really resembles that of a young donkey's tail. Medyo confusing yung pag-identify natin itong succulent na to since it's very similar sa ating mga burst tail or sa donkey tail but they are all totally different. What you are seeing right now is the Sediviria hairy butterfield or commonly known as the super burst tail. So hindi pa ito yung ating burst tail, iba pa yon. If for example we will be doing a side-by-side -side comparison, you would really see na they are totally different in terms of shape kasi itong ating mga burrito yung kanilang leaves are parang bean shape sila and usually just 1.5 centimeters long and about 0.7 centimeters in diameter as compared to this one itong ating hairy butterfield na sidiveria it's actually bigger for comparison purposes i have here a picture comparing itong ating burrito itong ating Burrow's tail and itong ating super burrow's tail. Itong ating mga burrito, yung kanilang stem could be over 3 feet or 90 centimeters long. And itong aking burrow's tail here is more or less 15 or 20 centimeters long. So just imagine, hahaba pa talaga siya until 90 centimeters. Another feature of this succulent is that it will give us a uh, flower and usually they are small and star-shaped. It's color pink. With regards to kanilang light requirements, itong ating burrito grows best in locations where they will enjoy the full sun at least six or more hours per day. Nakalagay rin siya doon sa ating area that's receiving an all day long na sun exposure so whether it's summer or tag init or tag ulan man yan nandun lang siya every day most species will tolerate partial shade pero some will not thrive in deep na shade or sa low light area so kung makikita ninyo yung kanyang leaves they are very compact dikit dikit sila and that is our main goal when growing itong ating mga burrito kasi if we will be putting them for example indoors or sa low light areas they would definitely ethiolate and if that happens mabilis nga ang hahaba yung stem niya pero yung gaps in between the leaves is very annoying to look at kasi hindi siya magandang tingnan i think it's best for us to see na ganito yung itsura ng ating burrito as compared na ang daming gaps in between yung light talaga is also very important for you to achieve this kind of look. With regards sa kanilang soil, yung ating mga sedums do not really like to sit in waterlogged soil. So, drainage is very essential to prevent root rot. And here, I'm just using a typical na garden soil. Ayan, with some compost, yung mga dried leaves, some rocks. I use rainwater for this succulent. And yung aking watering schedule is usually every two weeks. Nakapansin ninyo na pag hindi nyo nadiligan on time yung inyong mga succulents, then they will definitely drink dito sa pinaka-bottom part na leaves and they usually dry as a result. And that is something that I'm trying to avoid dito sa ating burrito kasi I really wanted to achieve nga yung plump na leaves sila from this part until sa pinaka Dulo. And yes, I think I was able to successfully do that. I never seen any dried leaves sa kanya ever since. Ayan, so I'm really happy with that one.
with regards sa kanilang repotting, especially this one na nakalagay sa containers, they require little more care than those in the other gardens. As I've mentioned earlier, this one is a trailing succulent and if you will be repotting this one, then ang dami yung part na dapat alalayan. So right now, medyo maliit pa siya and it's still manageable to repot this. Pero imagine if this is already longer and yung kanyang trailing stems is all over the pot, then that's gonna be difficult na i-repot siya. I guess it will take about 1 year to 5 years before we can finally achieve nga yung kanyang maximum na length which is 90 centimeters long. But syempre, patience is always the key kasi in the end, it will give you this perfectly trailing na plant. So the role of fertilizing is very important kasi eventually in just three months or six months itong soil na to is already not nutrient enough so kumbaga it's just well draining pero it's already poor in nutrient content and that's the time i use yung ating fertilizer so you can add osmocote fertilizers here or yung mga controlled release na fertilizers if you want but yung sa akin nga i prefer nga yung pinangdidilig ko siya so that kumbaga completely na masaturate niya yung soil and ma distribute niya evenly yung ating nutrients sa soil and eventually will be absorbed by our burrito. So, monthly ko siyang ginagawa. Propagation wise, you can do stem cuttings or leaf cuttings sa kanya. It's very simple. So, if for example, you wanted to separate itong part na to, all you need to do is remove itong ating mga leaves na yan. So, I'm not gonna be doing it now kasi I'm really trying to preserve itong ating burrito especially na medyo matagal yung kanyang pag-grow. So, you can just simply remove itong mga leaves na to until you can see the stem and you can finally cut it. You would also notice na kung saan kayo nagtanggal ng leaves, may mga offsets na tutubo dyan. So, as you can see there, ayan, may, may bagong offset na tumutubo sa kanya doon. So, ganun lang siya kaliit and eventually after several months, it would look like this. Ito yung ating pinaka-stem and in between, ito yung mga offsets na tumutubo and it would really give us that kind of look. Ayan. So, ito yung nag-branch out then ito nag-branch out ulit siya into two. For example, gusto ko siya mag-branch out dito. What I can do is to slowly or gently remove itong kanyang leaf. So all you need to do is just twist it like that. And yes, you were able to successfully nga remove itong ating leaf. So we can just air dry this one for several days. Wag nyo muna silang imimiss or else mabubulok yung inyong leaves. Eventually in time, this will callus over, magdra-dry siya. Then tutubo yung bagong offsets dyan. And yes, we will be having another branch dito na tutubo sa kanya. And finally, itong ating burrito is not listed as toxic for people, pero they can be mildly toxic to pets and children. And that is something that you need to consider kung saan nyo siya ilalagay. Although, we really don't have any problem with this one kasi nga, most of the time, nakahang sila or nakasabit naman sila and that is out of reach ng ating mga bata or ng ating mga pets. And that's all for our Sidom Burrito. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You may also visit our Facebook page at Desert Succulent PH.